you're running against several other contenders for this position. Why should the voters choose you? Yes, ma'am. I'm running actually against uh, eight others on the Republican ballot in the primary. And um, for the last 15 years, I've spent uh, most of my time on active duty, National Guard service, and the military. And I never intended to run for political office, but it is uh, in my background. I studied political science, and uh, I am deeply concerned, as most Americans are, with the direction that our country is going in. And I don't see any other elected officials that are standing up for the right thing to do and for what's best for Americans and America. So that's why I wanted to give an alternative to career politicians for the great state of Missouri. Okay. Um, list what you believe are the three most significant issues facing Missouri. How would you address these issues and what would the financial and non-financial costs be of your actions? Well, clearly uh, the first one is the, uh, the budget that we're in the, uh, due to overspending part of government. Uh, so spending, cutting back, number two is the economy, getting Americans back to work, getting Missourians back to work is number two. And thirdly, as well as it is for any other uh, state, is national security uh, to maintain a strong, secure order around both South and North and South, and also to uh, really look at what the uh, immigration policy of the current administration is and to address it accordingly. If all politics are local, in what ways would your work in Washington affect the people back in Missouri? Well, as a U.S. Senator, my job is going to be to protect Missouri and all Missourians, but at the same time to represent uh, America because it is a federal office and everything that affects Missouri also affects the rest of the country and vice versa. So I will work really hard and diligently to protect Missouri's best interest, the citizens of, uh, of Missouri and America. What defines a successful senator to you? Provide examples of who you look to for leadership. Uh, I think one who actually represents the people effectively, that listens to the people, that does not uh, sell out to large corporations or special interests, and somebody that's going to stand up for what's right and for our founding in the Constitution. I would look actually, you know, one of the uh, one of the key people that I actually look towards that I've seen speak out openly is uh, Jim DeMint and, uh, on the Senate level. And there's actually a couple of congressmen that I've actually reached out to. Uh, Mike Pence from Indiana, Michelle Bachman, she's, uh, she's fighting for the right thing for America. So I, I actually have a lot of, a lot of uh, respect for that. Using spiritual and or philosophical sources, cite a couple passages on life and or leadership that you feel have shaped your core personality and approach to politics. I am a lifelong Catholic. I was raised in the church. I am a fourth degree knight in the Knights of Columbus. And everything that I do on a day-to-day -day basis, every decision that I make is based on the principles of morality, on the Bible. And we were created and we were founded by those biblical uh, principles, our Declaration of Independence was based on the Ten Commandments, and uh, I, I think that's what gives us the morality, and that, that's the, the basis for judging whether something is good for America, for people, and humanity, and whether it's not. I think there's too many elected officials that are trying to strip away our, our founding, which is in God, one God, of, uh, one nation under God, so um, I think we have to get back to that so that we can have a, a good moral compass by which we uh, make decisions.